so thank you for joining me so today i'm going to tell you a story about my worst relationship ever and also before i start though i want to uh, just share with you this title is called writing down the bones by natalie goldberg and i have writer's block for some time and i think it's because i was nervous about sharing my content and it would stop me from writing but this book really helped me at first i got it from the public library and i really loved it and i was like i have to have this on my shelf so i actually purchased it off of amazon and it really 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 helps me like just to relax and just write like i've written so much since i've purchased this book and although i don't post a lot on my blog i do have a blog custom made in new york.com um i do write a lot i write very often almost every day i'm always writing so yeah so today i'm going to tell you the story it's super embarrassing so i don't even know why i'm going to tell it to you i don't have a story that's probably going to top this but i'm going to tell you about my worst relationship ever in life and it happened a couple of years ago and i think i'm still bitter about it i don't know if i'm bitter but i know if i see this person on the street let me not say that because i'm not abusive or anything like that but it's just the feeling i have of disgust towards this person is very strong very very strong and i know the lord says not to hate you're supposed to love even your enemies but this person's not my enemy i just i'm disgusted by the thought of them yeah that's how i feel about that person so i'm not going to say any names but i will tell you that i met this person online one of my friends suggested that i do online dating so i said cool and this person supposedly was a man of Christ. so i decided that i didn't want to date anyone who wasn't in the church or like didn't have a relationship with god so this person did something like cool um they're educated you know they're into building their community and stuff like that so i'm like great we were dating a little while and things get serious and i feel like maybe i was pushing myself to like the first date was very awkward i don't know why i think all right so let me i'm so mean <laughs> so the first date <laughs> this is so petty but the first date that i had with this person i was tight that they lied to me about their height so they said they were six two and i think they were like five nine like my height so i kind of was just like who the hell at our age lies about, lies about their height? So that kind of like turned me off, but I'm like, it's not that serious. He's not that, he's my height. So it didn't really bother me, but that bothered me in the moment. And it's just like, who does that? Like what type of person I'm asking myself, what type of person does that? So um, things are cool. We hang out a lot, um, talk about our goals, talk about our future, you know, stuff like that. But there was just cer certain instances where I felt like something was off, but I didn't know what it was. This person wasn't mean to me. They were always kind to me, always respectful of me and stuff like that. But they would do little things that I think would trigger me. And I'm just like, something's not right. Like one time I walked into the living room and like they, they hid their phone. I'm just like, what's that about? And what was their response? Oh, I had an ex-girlfriend that used to be on my phone all the time. Some Some BS like that. Um, like whatever so our t total dating time was four four months I was only with this person for four months and then one time we went to Atlantic City for the weekend for his birthday and some girl hit me up on Instagram and was like um that's your boyfriend because that's my I'm, I was dating him or something like that so I'm just like <sighs> but the th the thing was the the relationship was so new I didn't know what to believe but I didn't let that rock out like i always had it in the back of my head like i gotta pay attention so i let that rock we were still talking and all of a sudden a couple of months later i get another phone call from some other woman saying that um that he's dating well they're not dating they weren't dating at the time but he was with whatever his ex relationship was he was leading her on to make it seem like they were going to be back together or whatever although they weren't together at that point in time and he literally just left my house so i was just like he just yo like when i say he left just left my house he was literally in the car when i was speaking to this person but i had to calm my nerves because like i was literally shaking and i know my temper 
So I don't like to engage in discussion or anything like that when I know that I'm upset. So I have to cool myself down until I'm able to talk or whatever. So he admitted that he was into this woman that he's been with for years or whatever. and But he didn't want to be with her anymore, but he didn't know how to tell her. So we broke up for a little while. And then when I got back with him, I just... It just wasn't the same. Like, I don't know. Like, just the way he moved. You know how you just feel somebody's vibe is just off? But it's just like, is this your insecurities from your past relationships? Or is this person, like, you know? Because they never made me feel like I'm not safe with them or anything like that. So, anyway, after we got back together a couple of weeks later, I was just like, it's not, it's not working. Like, I'm not feeling it anymore. And so I broke it off. I just felt like something in my spirit was telling me that something was off. So a couple of months later, two months later, this woman calls me up and is like, are you still talking to such and such? I'm like, no, like I did that a long time ago. And um, they were like, oh, so let me tell you how he's been sleeping with this woman this between this and this time. I found out that first of all, he told he was supposed to be a pastor, mind you, all, in all of this. He's a, he's in, in the, a man in the church, right? So she was telling me that he left, he used to go to her church and he left her church because he was accused of stealing money. Then what really bothered me because my mom passed away of cancer was this mofo dead serious lied about having cancer. Guys, guys, I dodged a bullet, really dodged a bullet. And then, you know, other things came up in the conversation, but I knew in my spirit that something was off and I'm like, I don't know what to make of it like I don't know if it's me or because he's not mean he's very kind like he's he's a man of his word when he says he's gonna do something he does it but it was just like and mind you he was run he wanted to run for office and I know he was scamming people like after the fact because a little bit after I'm not gonna lie sometimes I'd be watching people even when we break up I'd be like what they up to but I didn't say anything about it because I'm not that I'm not bitter like that I just wanted this person out of my life and I'm really truthfully grateful that um, it didn't lead to anything else. Uh, so, yeah, that is my story about the worst boy boyfriend I ever had. And honestly, when people ask, I don't even claim him. But, yeah, it's totally embarrassing. Like, most one of the most embarrassing experiences of my life. And, yeah, so what I'm extremely grateful for is discernment. Like, to see through the fuckery, see through the bullshit, and know, like, you know, in my spirit, like, my spirit would tell me when something's not right. Yeah, so I just appreciate, like, you know how you're still not sure when you break up with somebody, like, did I do the right thing or is it just you've been through much, so much that you just can't even tell anymore? But no, when that story, when that came and I'm like, yo, I knew it. And even <laughs> when, I, when I was breaking up with him, I was like, I don't even think you had cancer. That's such a cruel thing to say, but like, really, like, I was com like, it was in my heart. Like, I just knew something wasn't right anyway yeah that's my story <laughs> so thank you for listening to my story don't judge me i'll see you soon peace